I've made a couple of videos over the years that talks about running Android apps on your Windows PC and with the sort of built-in Windows Android emulation set to presumably go away not too far in the future, I thought it would be cool to look at another alternative that I actually like quite a bit. This is the Google Play Games on PC emulator. Now, as you can see here, it says, it's for developers, but that doesn't actually matter. It's fairly limited, though, straight out of the box, but it turns out it is exceedingly easy to sideload pretty much whatever Android app you want and get that up and running. So I'm just going to take you through the entire process. I'm going to download the installer, and again, you're just going to see how all this works from start to finish. So, of course, we have our installer, and it is doing its thing right now. It installs very similarly to Google Chrome, actually. It pops up in this little window, downloads, and installs. Let that do its thing. Once it is done and you fire it up, you're going to get this pop-up. Allow USB debugging. Click Always Allow from this computer and click on allow. That's gonna let you do what you need to do. From here, you can swipe up and it's basically like a Pixel device or a, a stock Android device is probably more accurate because you don't have all the Pixel goodies. But this is all you have. If you jump instinctively into the Google Play Store, what you will notice is there are just basically no applications at all. What you're gonna have in here are games and that is just about it. And that might be good enough for some of you, but we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna sideload some other apps. So initially, I figured the most reasonable, most logical thing to do here would be to install a third-party app store like Aurora Store or F-Droid. And I tried that, but I could not actually get them to work. It doesn't seem like those third-party stores have the ability to install apps within this emulator. So you are stuck sideloading things. So the simplest thing to do is go to some place like APK Mirror, grab your APK, and I'll show you how to install it. I'm going to pick one out here myself. So the first one that popped into my head was Threads, and of course I go into it and there's a million different options. I would assume I should be looking for the x86 version. That's the one that we're going to click on, and that is the one that we are going to be downloading. Uh, I assume that because this is on a Windows PC that is x86. So now what we have here is our APK file. We have our emulator up and running. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump to this location here. So C, Program Files, Google, Play Games, Developer Emulator, Current, and then Emulator. It should look like this. Right click in this blank space, click Open in Terminal. And what we have now is a command prompt that is opened up in this location. So what we're going to do, we're going to type period forward slash ADB install, and then we need the path to this file. So we're going to right click it. We're going to click on copy as path, come back to our window, right click or control V to paste, hit enter. And in theory, this should install and be up and running here momentarily. Success. So let's swipe up and there we go. There is threads. We are installed. Let's open it up and run it and see what's going on. So there you go. As you can see, it is up and running, and it really is that easy to sideload applications inside this emulator. I have had a couple of issues with this app. It looks like it's actually resolved now. Some things weren't seeming like they wanted to load, but everything does seem fine. Um, you know, One big advantage of this is that it comes directly from Google. It also does seem to fire up pretty quickly, so I think that this is an absolutely viable way to go. But there is another way to go, which we're going to quickly look at as well. This is BlueStacks, as they say, the world's number one Android emulator. Setup on this thing is pretty straightforward as well. Once you download the installer, run the installer, it's very self-explanatory. Then this is going to pop up and this is going to be sort of the, uh, the instance that is already there. So we're just going to click on start and it should fire up. And that actually did fire up pretty darn quickly as well. They basically have like their own launcher in here with an ad over here to the side as well. So these are all things that you kind of have to keep in mind. It's a little bit less bare bones and sometimes that's good. Sometimes that's not good. But you do right out of the box have access to the Google Play Store. Now, of course, that means signing in to your Google account. And, you know, you may have some qualms about giving your you know, login information to a company that isn't Google to this BlueStacks company. They have been around for a while. Not really heard of any issues from them, but I think that that's definitely something to think about. But once you've done that, you do have access, like I said, to the Google Play Store and to pretty much every application that you could possibly desire. 
You do also have some controls over here as well, which I think that's actually a pretty nice touch, kind of having all of this stuff tucked away. You can full screen this, but again, you're going to lose part of your screen to this ad. And of course, there is some monetization going on there as well if you want to get into that, whereas the one from Google is free to use, although it is a bit more limited. Now, unfortunately, you will occasionally run into some applications that are not quote unquote compatible with this device, this emulator, but you know, on the Google emulator, you're going to potentially run into applications that are gonna be difficult to sideload. Applications where the only APK you can get your hands on are in splits or bundles. And there's not a super easy way to install those through the command line, at least not one that I'm aware of. If you know how to do that, drop a comment down below. But as far as I'm aware, that's harder to do as well. So there's some problems on both sides. My hope is that the emulator that is built into Windows will somehow get to continue living on. Maybe it will be maintained by a developer community and maybe they'll figure out how to very easily integrate that Google Play compatibility. I loved how it would open up the applications in their own little windows, not within a window like this, like a little Android home screen, basically. I think that that is sort of a step back from how it was being done in Windows. but. Even that had some issues too, right? It was kind of difficult to get that Google Play compatibility. So guys, there are a couple of options there for you to try out. Let me know which of them maybe you're using. Let me know if you're using a third, a different option and how well that works for you, why you chose that one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.